Hi, I'm Wendell Campbell, your State Farm Agent in Oskaloosa on A Avenue West. I'm proud to present the Athlete of the Week on Ottumwa Radio. Now here's Jason Van Arkel with KISS FM's Athlete of the Week. Oskaloosa's Cole Henry, the KISS FM Athlete of the Week. A huge game coming out of winter break last Friday. 43 points, 15 rebounds in a victory over Indianola and a, a victory that Oskaloosa needed having gone into the break with a couple of losses. Let's just start there. Obviously, that's a huge night for you. At what point during the game did you realize that you were going to have a, a special night like that? Uh, it was pretty much early in the, the first quarter. Um, you know, Zay scored the first two buckets, and then I got another bucket. It was just kind of kind of pretty apparent that we, we could score with ease in the paint. And, uh, you know, with their fast-paced offense and our fast-paced offense, too, it was pretty much who could outscore who. And, uh, you know, I could kind of tell that, you know, there wasn't a lot of stopping us in the paint. So, uh, you know, I was making sure I could take every opportunity I got inside of the lane uh, to my ability. And, uh, you know, I'm glad it all worked out. And uh, thanks to my teammates for the good night. Now, 43 points out of your team, 63. And on the other side, I think it's, you said Evan Gallagher for Indianola had 35 of their 53. You don't often see a game where it's just almost two guys just basically basically battling one-on-one. -on -one. What was it like to be in a duel like that? You know, it was awesome. And, uh, you know, to think that we're both going to the same college and uh, he'll be my teammate someday is pretty cool as well. But, uh, you know, the, the crowd, I think they were definitely enjoying it. You know, two guys going at it like that, you know, that's something you definitely have to enjoy. And I was enjoying watching it, you know, my, myself scoring a lot and uh, him coming down the other end and scoring too. So, uh, you know, it was, it was really awesome to see. Now, I know you guys felt like you needed that victory because you had two losses going into the break and you had to sit on that all through Christmas and New Year's. So obviously it was big to come out and get that win. But what was it also big because you guys come out, you play that one game, and then you've got another week off. It doesn't feel like you played very much basketball lately. Not a lot. You know, it was definitely big because we knew that it would sting even more if we lost three in a row and then had a full week off. You know, that would be tough for us. So uh, we just we just really wanted to come out in that win. That's kind of why we were so motivated. That's, I think that's why we played so well because we were a very motivated team and uh, we found a way to to, you know, make it count when it needed it. And then finally, you go from not a lot of activity to you're going to play back-to-back -back nights Friday and Saturday. You've got Friday versus Pella Christian, then Saturday, I think Cedar Rapids, Jefferson. So how do you adjust to that going from uh, relative inactivity to having to play two games in a row? Uh, we're doing well. You know, we didn't have any days off of practice this week, so, uh, you know, we really want to take advantage of that time in practice to, uh, you know, to get better. You know, a lot of teams would probably take a couple days off because they have this downtime, but not us. You know, we're, we're in the gym still two hours every day to get, uh, get prepared, and then before and after practice, staying late, you know, and working on our game. So um, we've been really working hard, and uh, we just want to fine-tune everything. You know, losing two games before Christmas break really stung, and we don't want that to happen again. Oscar Luce's Cole Henry, the KISS FM Athlete of the Week. Again, 43-15 and 15 in the win over Indianola. Congratulations on the big night. Good luck as you keep the season going back on track and hopefully rolling back towards that state tournament. Thank you, sir, and go Indians.